I was pastoring a church in Houston, Texas, when a friend of mine invited me to a conference for pastors. I was kind of excited because Dr. Bill Bright was going to be speaking. I'd heard him several times, but uh, this was more in depth, and so I was looking forward to it. Uh, the first couple of days, he talked about things like spiritual breathing and walking with God, which, of course, I appreciated, but they were well-known issues to me, and so I didn't think that much about the time. On the third day, he began to talk about reaching the world with the gospel in this generation. Now, I knew John 3.16. I knew the Great Commission in Matthew 28 and other passages. I believed in that. But he added some things that sort of disturbed me. Uh, this generation, suddenly, that's no longer talking about when you feel like it. It puts a time element into it. It puts an urgency into the whole picture. And so I, my ears perked up all that day, and I was really touched. And by lunchtime, I was grappling with some of those issues. Is it possible that the world could be reached with the gospel? And what does that mean in this generation? Later on in the afternoon, we had a break time. Went downstairs in the cafeteria, sat in little four-person tables, and we began to interact on what he had been talking about that day. In just a few moments, Dr. Bright came around from table to table. He stopped at our table, and he said, Brothers, I'd like to ask you two questions. Well, we were honored that he stopped at our table, and so we were listening, and he said, The first question is this. Do you really believe that God wants to share the, see the gospel shared with every person in this generation? That was really difficult because theologically, who can disagree? Practically, I didn't think it could happen. And so what was I supposed to say to Dr. Bright who was saying, this is my question? And I remember thinking and sort of panicking if I say yes, then I'm sort of a hypocrite. If I say no, obviously that's not the right answer. So I said yes. And then he said, here's a second question. If all Christians were doing what you're doing, will the world be reached with the gospel in this generation? I don't know how the other three men reacted to that. All I know is that it was a it made a great impact upon me. In fact, I couldn't stay there any longer. I got out, walked out of the building with tears in my eyes, and went out into a field next to the Astroworld Hotel in Houston, and I knelt in the weeds and I wept before God. And I said, Lord, I don't know what that means. And I don't know how to do it. In fact, I don't know what to do differently right now. But if somehow you will show me, you will teach me, you will help me to understand that, I would like to be a part of that for the rest of my life. 